almost at Prairie City. Left uh, Mitchell last night. 100 miles, 120. Hopefully to cover for the rest of the day. Been on the same road all day. 198 miles, voila. I'll stay here. Climbing some mountain passes. Freaking uh, temperature dropped to 45. Beautiful day. Wow, so I'm in uh, Bragan, about 40 miles before Ontario. And uh, what I left this morning, 8.30 from uh, Mitchell, up some uh, three nasty climbs on the same route, 26 east for like 200 miles. Uh, yeah, pretty gnarly, 45 degrees, four in the morning climbing the pass. And then uh, no services once again. Once I hit, um, not hope, Unity, I had seven bottles of water, five sandwiches, you name it. It's like a desert here, nothing whatsoever. Uh, man, black crawls, hyenas, snakes. This is crazy. Um, but we're almost finished and we're closing in on the border of uh, Idaho. Luckily I have my filters here, found a few sprinklers, so I'm able to get some water here. Right, right, so I'm about 25 miles, miles from Lowman, Idaho. Idaho has been good to me, made up some speed here. Um, came here maybe four to Ontario on the border, slept just two hours, but I'm gonna sleep another hour of the postal service here. No services once again. Finally got out of the desert in Oregon. Uh, yeah, what happened? Um, what else? Oh, Black Black Canyon, that was nice. I was moving there. Some gravel. Decided to sleep because the store up the hill doesn't open until 8. Luckily, this Chevron is open here. I think they're Stanley. But yeah, now the motorist, you gotta stock up. So we have a lot of these full bag of it, burritos, croissants, you name it. Doing good. I'm by the Salmon River after Stanley, Idaho. <laughs> Check this out. And finally on day three, I'm catching some tailwind cruising by the Salmon River. All right, I'm almost at uh, Lowman, Lowman, Idaho. Early in the morning, 8 a.m. There's the river here. Yep. I don't know if it's the Salmon River. Beautiful. So we're almost done with uh, Idaho. <clears throat> I'm waiting for new views in front of me. Kind of tired of these canyons. So, and yeah, it's still dry here. It rained on me yesterday, and I'm not even getting wet. I mean, it almost feels like the rain evaporates immediately. And then uh, some bugs. I was climbing a big pass for hours, and if you slow down to five an hour, five miles an hour, and you end up uh, you end up getting bit, big flies. I mean, they bite through the lycra on my bibs. So, Rex Burke. More importantly, Wyoming coming. Now here's Idaho. All the canyons. The weather changes every two minutes. Sunny over there. Some clouds here, which are welcome at the moment. And down there, Salmon River. Almost at Chalice.
right, so today we're about to leave. I am about to leave Idaho and head towards Yellowstone, there's climbing and Wyoming. Feeling a little better. I think there's a plane here spraying. Um, so yeah, today hopefully I can go over the the highest point, Togo T Pass, 10,000 feet. It's a beautiful morning. Uh, a bit beat up and bruised, but not giving up yet. So the fight goes on. Made it. Grand Teton. Pretty rough actually to get here. Started with a gravel. 35 miles deep. Oh boy. Almost there. Just have to climb off uh, Tagoti Pass. Up the road we go. I guess I have to go over that hump now. Gravel. Beware of bears. Oh, I'm getting stunned by some big flies. Well, here you go. We're in Casper, Wyoming, happy 4th of July. Been a great day, <clears throat> great night so far. Hopefully, a great day as well. Uh, yeah, slowly getting into the flatlands and the plains, just a couple of small hills, but pretty flat. And soon we're into Nebraska, so I'm excited, you know, since I love teaching. I've been hauling ass today. I started uh, 10 30 last night from uh, Riverton, maybe have about 120 so far, and it's seven something in the morning so things have been pretty good from here we'll go to Oren I think yep Oren well Douglas first Oren is the end point 74 more miles so my strategy has been working well with the heat either be on top of the mountain the hottest part of the day or sleep from 3 to 6 if I can. I've been making a lot of progress at night time. Just have to switch things around maybe so I'm a little more aero and move the handlebar back inside the C2 bag. I mean the C bag. See how that goes. You know, you have good days and you have bad days. Today is a good day. Yesterday was one of the worst days. Should I say I started the day before, the night before. That's when I started to climb up the Continental Divide. The T Pass, 90, I don't know, 9700 feet. Yeah, that day started with a freaking gravel for 35 miles. I probably left the door late, but it's hard to time it. That 35 mile gravel, hey Mike, took me six hours. Unbelievable. Big sharp glass. I had my first flat there. That was still in Idaho. And um, some freaking flies. Mad scientists made them. I don't know, those things were big. And they were just kicking my ass. If you slow down below five miles an hour, they just bite you through your clothes relentlessly. So, can't stop. Well, I had a flat tire, so I had to stop. And then uh, there's no services there. Things are getting better here. I had to wait uh, 60 miles for more services before I attacked the big climb, but um, it was too late. The gravel slowed me down. I started going up at 9.30. It was a 20 mile climb <coughs> from like 6,000 to 9,500. 
and um, bear warning, which I didn't see no one bear. What a disappointment. I heard scratch on the guardrail. That was as close as it get. But man, did it get cold? It was 38 on top. Full winter gear. And then on the way down, my stupid behind missed the turn into my hotel. And it was too late. Because I was flying down another 20 miles. So next town, no hotels there. Everything booked. So I had to hold ass another 75 miles to Riverton, which is in Wyoming. No, yeah, Wyoming. Yeah, I had a bad time. The heat was trying to take me down. Feeling dizzy, sleepy, can't take food. It's hot as hell. But, um, yeah, I had a good night's sleep. And today, we're moving. It's probably one of my biggest day. Oh, I crashed on the gravel too. So my palm, my thigh, nothing serious. With barely any speed, but and uh, yeah, amongst other things. But today, peace out.